Good morning everyone and welcome to this week's update. I hope that you and your families are well. So first of all, just um, to say thank you for everyone and it was really heartening to hear all of these positive stories coming out of fireworks evening and bonfire night. Um, uh, just thank you for everyone involved. Um, it really is a community effort. So again, just brilliant, brilliant positive news uh, that nothing, nothing serious has happened. So um, just thank you very much for that. So as we're coming through, we have got a few weeks left now until Christmas, um, which means we have really got to keep that attendance high. It's really, really important. We're making sure your children are ready for whatever comes at them. We're ready for their exams. They're ready for school. And that attendance is really, really important. So thank you for all your support with that, because it really, really is uh, um, having a massive impact in school. In seven and in 11, we are above national really strongly, which is fantastic. We have some term time absences, which we've really got to sort out those leave of absences. We cannot authorize any term time um, leave of absences. Um, and if it's over 20 consecutive days, we have to take you off roll. Um, and also those fines, if you are fined and doesn't go to school, it goes to the local authority. Now that is all new from the government. I sent a letter out at the beginning of the year with all of that information in, so just to remind you. But thank you so much to all of those families who have kept their children in school, who are pushing them, who are making sure they're getting what they need. That is such a brilliant thing to do. So thank you very much for everyone. And it's important we keep on going with that, especially we've got year 11 exams. They're two weeks time now, making sure that they are revising. Uh, it's, you know, half an hour a day, especially around that maths. And across the school, we should be doing reading and maths every single day. Every single child in this school should be doing some reading and some maths every single day. And that's loads and loads of support out there. You've got all of the online uh, things, so please do support us with that. We've also got loads going on this half term. We have got so much going on um, in trips. We've had Minster trips, we've got Eureka trips, we've got a coal mining trip, we've got a Trafford Centre trip in year 11. We've got loads going on. It's always a really busy half term. So again, another reason why children have to be in school so they can go on these fantastic experiences. And then finally, um, just a snow update. It's meant to be snowing at the this week. Um, we will not be closing school at all, um, unless we tell you. We want children to be in school because it's really, really important for their future. And you know, we've got all of our children, we have no school buses, so everybody can get into school and walk, just set off a little bit earlier, um, and we will let you know um, whether or not school will close. But we will do that really, really, if the snow is, if snow is really coming down, then yes, obviously we'll make that call uh, to make sure that staff can get in safe. And finally, just to confirm that it is training days on Thursday and Friday this week, so school will not be open for children. So that's it from me. I'll let you get back on with your weekends and take care, everyone. Speak soon. Bye-bye.